today I'm gonna show you how to do S parameter simulation cadence. So open your terminal and source your directory. So as usual, do bin bash export path colon bin. That's the usual procedure procedure that we had to follow. And go to the your working directory. Once we've been there, you need to source your directory. So give a path which is given to you. And type ICFB to start cadence. Here I have made circuit ready for you, so we don't gonna waste your time in that one. As our main target is to learn how to S primary simulation. So go to I'm going to tools library manager and my design. Basically I have just uh, done the schematic. Here is my schematic. To do S parameter, the main part we have to concern is the input part. It is different than the usual circuit. Here you can see my input part contains something else and the regular pin. That's called S pin. Here is the same thing in output too. So now you heard confusion how to get it. So go to the add, add instance and your library where you have all the components so go to the browser and I have everything in my analog lab so I go there and type PS in that's the component name here and select the here and select the symbol so you know you can put it in there so look at the per let's look at the parameters that we can change here for the this particular instance so here in the table as usual we have a name that we can allot as per our requirement next the important thing is input resistance there's a 50 ohm that's usual and port number here there is a fixed number that you need to allot if you wanna put something as an input then you should type a zero and if you put on something as an output, then you should type 1. So, 0 for input put, 1 as an output put. So, I have already done it, so I don't know how to do it here. After getting done, you need to go for save and check. Check and save. If you don't do this, you might get some error warnings, not an errors during the simulations. So, after getting this thing done, you need to go to the tools and select analog environment. As we have done in DC simulation. So go into tools, analog environment. So now we have a window for the analog simulation. Where you can close the window. It's an information. So first thing that we have to do is getting the variables from the schematic. So go to the variables first and copy all the schematic uh, variables from the cell view. So I have two two variables. Set the value because we are going to do through simulation. If you have some specific value, then enter that, or you can put some random logical values. So I have fixed value for the circuit, so I'm gonna place a value for the both the variables. Now go to the setup and second option simulator directory post. Make sure you have the spectra as a simulator. And go to the regular model libraries, select all models and type TT in section. You can click OK. Now, now we're gonna select the analysis. So go to the analysis, click choose. So we're gonna get regular window. Now we introduce S parameters, so select SP and we get all the information that we can work on. Here we have few variables to work with. But we are we gonna work with a regular frequency that's the general. Now here we need to work put some values for starting frequency and the end frequency, like you can say you need a particular range. So put some random values. But here the thing is the values are in hertz 
and we don't usually work with the hearts so just put the value first make sure your start value is smaller than the stop value and click apply so you can see in the left table there are some values like see here 500k and 5m so that's not what I want just to do some 50 megahertz to 500 megahertz like this if you find it's okay then go ahead and you can change anything like sweep type linear or logarithmic and make sure we have enable checked it is all the way bottom to the table yeah it is checked here now we can click ok and run simulation by pressing that green light traffic signal here it came with the data the simulation but it is kind of hard to get information through so click close it and we will go for more visible data representation so go to the result and direct plot we have only one option here click that and table came up here we have already one option SP as parameter and the function is the value that you're either even to know for the in the form of the graph so we don't know some of this uh, short forms so click on that and you can read the description GP means a power gain GA available gain GT transducer gain we know that so we can select any random values Z parameters you can choose a different values too like real imaginary phase DB20 magnitude and click on any parameter you like and you get the graph here's a nice clean graph now you can hover your mouse over the graph and you can check the values at the left bot bottom corner of the graph so this is kind of useful for any information if you're designing some good circuit for any uh, transmitter or said I hope my video helped you out and have a good luck